So back in the days, whenever you think about using one singular device to bring down an entire network, that's probably something you only see in Hollywood movies, especially in one of those James Bond's movies. But I came across this article last week, which reads, Wall of Flippers detects Flipper Zero Bluetooth spam attacks. Wow, so it seems like it's not so science fiction anymore. According to this article, this Flipper Zero device was used in a recent conference called Midwest Furfest 2023, which was about a community with a place to educate themselves in the arts of anthropomorphic literature, art, and performance, and to facilitate fundraisings and donations to non-profit organizations, which promotes the well-beings of humans and our animals. Turns out, some people were not so wholesome and a Bluetooth spam attack was launched on this conference which attendees discovered firsthand that the consequences of these Bluetooth spam attacks can go far beyond the scope of a harmless prank. One person tweeted, To the person spamming BLE attacks at MFF, your joke caused the Android device I use to control my insulin pump to crash. If I wasn't able to fix it, I would have had to go to the hospital. You're not funny. Yeah, turns out this device is not a joke. It can go as far as crashing medical devices and potentially causing life-threatening issues. So what exactly is this device called Flipper Zero? Flipper Zero was first launched back in 2020 as a Kickstarter campaign which raised almost $4.9 million and about 38,000 people backing this project. It was founded by Pavel Zofner, nicknamed Father of Flippers, and Alex Kulogin, hope I pronounced that right, who was the Flipper's manager. Together, they were able to build the devices called Flipper Zero, which is basically a very portable device that is designed mainly for pen testers. It's designed to look like a toy because, you know, it's supposedly harmless and fun. This nifty little thing can hack digital devices like radio, access control systems, hardware, and so on. The most attractive part about this is the ability to customize the capability to whatever suits you. And that's exactly what happened. A custom firmware called Extreme was developed back in December 2022, which allows people who own this device to perform Bluetooth spam attacks on Android, iOS, and Windows devices. The main idea is to use Flipper Zero's wireless communication capabilities to fake pairing and connection requests. Here's an example of how a Bluetooth spam attack will look like if you have an iPhone. Because it works while the phone is on the lock screen, you can see these just going wild. Every time you close one, another one pops up immediately and it just pins you down. And here we can see that if you spam it enough, it'll actually crash your entire phone. So imagine if you're at the Midwest for Fest event and someone's having a heart attack, you wouldn't even be able to call an ambulance because some stupid person decides to be funny and spam attack everyone. A lot of people also reported severe business disruptions with their square payment readers, and also people using Bluetooth-enabled hearing aids and heart rate monitoring tools also reported disruption. Like seriously, the more I read into this, the more it sounds like a weapon. Not sure about the rest of the world, but here in Australia, it's illegal to even own a pepper spray for self-defense. And yet, I can just go on this website and buy one for $300. Like, what a bargain. You can argue that pepper spray can be used by criminals to spray a victim and steal their stuff. But what happens if people use Flipper Zero on, let's say, public transportation? What if they use it on a plane? Which reminds me, this is why they tell you to switch on airplane mode when you're on flights. How do they interfere with the plane's navigation? Because... Individually, your phone is not really going to cause any disruption to the plane. But if you have more than 200 people on the plane, all of their phones are switched on and sending all kinds of signals and electromagnetic interference, then the whole thing is scaled up to be a bigger issue. Now imagine if this can be achieved with just one singular device. I'm just raising a serious concern. One person said, health devices are supposed to actually be hardened against this sort of thing. So said my uncle, who works for Medtronic. While I do agree with this comment, the companies who created these devices probably never expected them to be this vulnerable to this degree in the first place. It's like the first iterations of an iPhone. You never really expected it to be that good at taking photos. But now when you buy an iPhone, it's a camera that comes with a phone. So let's hope that these health devices can iteratively improve to combat these spam attacks. Another person said, all of this to say, if you've written or used code for BTLE connection spamming, you're a dangerous stain who's gonna get people hurt. You're making the lives of people who are actually trying to collect data to enable informed decisions worse. Log off, Touch grass. Very well said. 100% agree. One related article I found reports that Flipper Zero has been used to manipulate price meters at fuel stations and obtaining gasoline at heavily discounted rates. Not gonna lie, in this economy of super inflated gas prices, that doesn't sound like a bad thing. But I'm not advocating for this type of behavior, so please don't go out and do this. The article also says that the founder acknowledges that the device exhibits certain vulnerabilities that could lead to misuse. And the device has been declared illegal in several countries, including UK and India. India. 
Despite this, online sales of the Flipper Zero has been exponentially increasing on a monthly basis, raising concerns among cybersecurity experts and authorities alike. As a cybersecurity professional, I completely agree with being concerned about Flipper Zero being exploited. But Flipper Zero, in the end, is just another physical device, which makes it relatively easy to prevent given time. There are early projects that are work in progress which are tackling this issue. Another article reports a different occasion when a person back in October experienced the same issue. They said, this is weird. On the train and my mobile Apple devices are rebooting, showing a possible connection to an Apple TV beforehand. And then I look around and notice I'm not the only one. Turned on lockdown mode and even then it's showing the same alert and crashing. Yeah, this is a big problem. So how do you fight against this? For starters, you can disable nearby share on your phone so you won't be spammed with these notifications. For iPhones, go to general, airdrop, and disable this bottom setting here. For Androids, you guys can just figure it out yourself. Now, this is only a fix for phones, but what about medical devices? As of this article, there are no real solutions for them at the moment. But there is this project called Wall of Flippers, which aims to detect these attackers which are conducting the Bluetooth spam attacks. It's basically a Python script which runs on Linux or Windows. It's designed to be run continuously, constantly updating the user with the status of nearby BTLE devices, any potential threats and general activity. The script is able to analyze the transmitted packets against a set of predefined patterns that is considered to be indicative of malicious activity. So here we can see a short demo of this person using portable Kali Linux on an Android phone. We can see they have a script running and when they do a Bluetooth spam attack, we can see the Flipper Zero device showing up on the phone screen. Every digital device would have a MAC address and also a signal strength. So if an attack has been detected, the hacker can be found by following the signal strength of the device. And if you're found to be in possession of a Flipper Zero, the authorities can easily match the MAC address of the device to confirm, and then it's probably jail time for you. The Wall of Flippers project is still work in progress, but so far it is able to detect if a Flipper Zero is nearby, Flipper archiving, iOS and Android crash and pop-up attacks, Windows pairing attacks, and a love spouse detection. Whatever that is. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you want to see more content like this, then make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching!